Good Monday afternoon, EE Sports fans. This is John Cannon. It is time to shift our gears over to the powerlifting sport. We've we've here with uh, two of our girls powerlifters. We have Justine Guerrero and Mackenzie Contreras, and we are here with head coach Jesse Garza. Guys, first of all, you had your first meet this past weekend. Um, Justine, I'm going to start with you. You got second place. You were disappointed when I asked you. I kind of teased you a little bit right now. What happened in, in that meet? I expected you to get first and you ended up getting second. Yeah, well, I was going in with the mindset of getting first. Um, I messed up a little bit on deadlift. I let the nerves get to me, but I'm pretty much happy that I reached my goal, which was to reach 1,000 pounds finally. So I'm kind of disappointed on the placing, but I'm happy with the outcome of the total. So, Mackenzie, how did you end up on your first one? I uh, did pretty good. I wasn't sure what I wanted to be. I was hoping for first, but I didn't get it. But hopefully next meet, I PR and get the thousand mark. What did you place in this one? Second. Okay, so even though it wasn't the first place finish, you were still pleased you got second place? Yes. Okay. Coach, uh, with the season already here, I guess it's safe to say, there's a lot of expectations for this girls program this year. I know there was a lot last year. You had a couple girls go to state, but this could be the year. You know, we keep talking about the year's gonna come. Is this a year you feel that you could possibly take this team to the to the uh, to the state powerlifting meet? It's a stuck in really, like you said, man. That's, that's our goal. Our goal is to get to the state and possibly win. I told you the girls at the beginning, we have to work as a team. Everybody's got to have the same mindset. We got to have the tunnel vision and, and and be really ready, ready to go to get there and, and we'll take it. You know, that's, that's our goal as a group. You know, you got a big group coming back again. This is a group of nine returning girls coming back all led by, by these two right here. And obviously Justine, she got a taste of the state meet. So how how big is it that these girls have her to feed off of from being at the at the state meet last year? Experience counts. Experience counts. She talks about it. And uh, we have uh, seen it before these girls, like you said, seen it. So she tells them how it is, how, how critical it could be. The the one with the least mistakes, the one with the with, with the, all the lifts in there, all nine lifts, possibly can take it. So just by her you're talking to him, the experience she brings to the table is huge. You know, Mackenzie could be another one. She, she obviously has a good shot of going Who are some of the other girls that you feel have the capability to, to, to make it to the state meet right. this year? We do have, uh, we have some other ones, 105 pounds. Dulce Banes. We have Michelle Hernandez, little one. We have Esmer Cruz. We have uh, uh, Jasmine, who is a 259, who is, is uh, opening up my eyes just how strong she's getting right now. So, like I said, these girls are working hard. They're coming to practice every day, and to me, that's what I want them to do every single day. And the first meet, were you pleased with what you saw from them? Are they where you wanted them to be? Or, I mean, they, I mean, when you look at how they did, overall they did well, but you can tell these two girls are disappointed. So, that tell, goes to tell you their the expectations are extremely high. So, even though they didn't do as well as their expectations were, in your eyes, did they do what you wanted them to do? Uh, yes, sir, they did. But they, they came out. They performed better than what I expected. They came out and they, they said, like they, 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 they wanted to get first. They didn't get it, but their, like their lifts were where they needed to be to start off the season off. So yeah, definitely. Mackenzie, last year you went to regionals, you missed out on one state. How hungry are you this year to make this goal a reality? Very. What is it gonna take for you to get there? Hard work and dedication. Do you feel, um, do you, are, are you content with just getting to state, or do you want more than that? What is your goal for this year? Go to state and place in the top three. Place in the top three. Okay, now you're what, a junior? A sophomore. A sophomore. You're a sophomore, so you still got time left. You're the senior. This is it. This is do or die for you. Last year, you got a taste of it. You told me after the state meet last year, I'm going for the gold this year. It's gold medal or bust. So what is it going to take for you to get to that level? Because in your weight class, as you know, it's tough. It's tough. There's a lot of, of big girls that are in the area. I think you've got one of the toughest weight classes in not only the region, in the state. So what are you going to have to do? What weights are you going to have to hit in order to win the gold? Well, I think where I'm at is um, pretty good right now. Um, this first meet, I think I could have done way better, and that's just awesome to me. I know that I haven't peaked. I know I picked up where I left off from last year at state, and I'm just better. Like I proved a lot in my bench, and I know I can do a lot better in my deadlift. Um, especially squat too. I'm just excited to see what I can do in the next meet I compete in and then at regionals I'm gonna take it easy and then go big at state. You know coach a lot of times you know these girls 
Sometimes they want to overdo it, and sometimes they, when expectations are high, they want to they want to shoot for the moon. Have you found that you've had to kind of pull the reins back a little bit? And say, girls, look, it's all a process coming in. So have you had to do that quite a bit with this team? Yeah, it's, it's a kind of like a give and take, kind of like a slow down. We still got two months to go, you know, but we don't want to start too far behind either. So that's, that's why I'm saying I'm happy where we started at, but still bringing them back down there. Like we still got to work. We still got to keep getting there. We still got much time to improve. From what you've seen from all of your girls, what's the one area that that you feel kind of lacks the most that will either hurt or help you get to state? Like, is there is there a certain lift? Because I know, like you said, there's there's a certain lift you need to work on. So is there, is there one there's, set lift that maybe these girls need to focus on, or is it a variety of different? I things? think as a coach, the one lift that gets me the most nervous is the bench. Um, for some reason, we did we go real good in the squat, and then we get to the bench, and and it's, it's like I get nervous. I can start getting that the I don't know whether really we get everything right, but I guess the bench might be the one that kind of gets me the good, the most goosebumps. So is that what you, is that, are you trying to focus more on that the bench aspect? Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like the squat all these girls have got down, right. the deadlift is, is pretty much there. So is it more? Hey, let's emphasize on the bench. Yes, sir. That's what okay. that's what it's looking like right now. Coach, knowing that, that you've got this team and knowing that, that you know, uh, right now, I think preseason, y'all are one of the top teams in your region. Mm -hmm. You know, how much pressure is it knowing that everybody's gunning for you and they know you're one of the favorites this year? So does that put pressure on you or the girls or do you relish the challenge? I, I, I like that challenge. I like the challenge. Every come to work, I tell them, let's get to work, girl. What's, what's what we're here for? And I can't do it myself. I got Coach Garcia, Debbie Garcia, Coach Navarro. We got this bunch of coaches that help me out and there's a group of coaches. We we get this. We're like the bad cop, you know, good cop, mm -hmm. and everybody's just getting together. And I think that's that's what's making this uh, get to the next level. Besides getting to state, what are the expectations do you have for these girls? I know one is you got a state champ possibly, but what else would you like to see? It's future for them to go out there and prove themselves out in the world world, go to college, continue the tradition of powerlifting from Mecca Chelsea, and show everybody else what they can do. Yeah. Before we complete this video, first off, I understand that you have been accepted and received a scholarship to Sam Houston State. Is that correct? Yeah. Congratulations on that. How honored are you? You know, I think a couple of girls have gone yeah. from Metcalfs to Sam Houston State. So for you to continue the tradition to be able to do that, how excited are you and how much pressure does it take off of you coming into this year knowing that that process is already done? Well, I, did, I started off early in the, season, in the school year, actually, applying and trying to get scholarships. Um, I had kind of already accepted the fact that I wasn't going to get into Sam Houston since it took a while to get back to me. And I was had my mindset on going to Corpus, but I ended up getting that acceptance letter and I talked to the coaches already and they're really nice, they're really cool. I have a ex-teammate over there, so I'm pretty comfortable. I'm really happy that I'm going and I'm excited to see what the future holds. Does it take the pressure off of you this year knowing that you already have a school set? Sometimes it's like, Oh man, what am I going to do after this year? But now you've got four more years of lifting. So even though this is the end of your high school career, you have another career starting. So are you excited, sad, nervous? How are you? I'm pretty well, excited. Um, I'm I'm really comfortable now knowing that I'm going to go and continue my powerlifting career. But I'm still going to go hard and stay. I'm trying to put Ed Calchelsa on the map for powerlifting. Last question to you: As a senior and as a leader of this team, coach has a goal. All of his team has a goal. Everybody expects you to go to state. How do you keep your teammates? How do you keep their, their focus and keep them in that mindset? You know, as a leader, what do you what do you do to kind of pump them up to, to get them ready and to keep that goal uh, attained throughout the whole season? Um, I think one of the biggest things that helps us a lot is actually working out together as a group. Not um, I know a lot of other girls have other sports. Um, me and Mackenzie as have our own sports. We have track. So working out together, I think getting the job done together as a team is a big aspect in being successful. There you go. Guys, stay or bust this year. No excuses. Let's go get it. Yes, Thank you all so much, and good luck to you this season. Yes, sir.